What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another episode of Let's Blindly Play The Walking Dead. As you probably could tell by maybe how I look, how I sound, yes, I think I'm coming down with a cold. And you're probably saying, why are you recording this when you're ill? Well, there's a, the way I see it, there's only one Walking Dead up a week, and I want to keep that up. I'd rather skip another day of a Let's Play than skip this one. So... Yeah, my illness just started today. Kind of. So I think I'm gonna go to this one. Episode 2 Star for Help. Let's continue. You may have seen a bit of this before, but. But how? Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Well, wow. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry the like fence? bugs in a zoo. <laughs> We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm wow. going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. I have never paid attention to the office. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? <laughs> Lily, she's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe uh. our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go yeah. top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that yeah. fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Yeah, although I still have a scary feeling. Not about the walkers, bad as they are. Oh.
You see. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it. Man, this fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. Well, clearing that perimeter is going to be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Oh, so I have to talk to him when I'm ready? Uh, where is... Yeah, let's talk to him. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Uh, been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we are really right. only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Weak stay points. Attentive. You never know. I don't know why I just have this spooky, eerie feeling. That music doesn't help, though. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. <laughs> There's one. Oh. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. No, it Come on, let's push it off. Oh my god, push it. I... Oh god. Looks like he's stuck. Oh. Disgusting. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. There. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Won't be nice. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. There's yeah. another one. I see. Oh. Mm. Well. But we're gonna have Man, to see. The fence burnt right into its hands. I think they fused together. We have not a choice. Oh. We have not a choice. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Yeah. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. 
It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? All right. What? Oh, God, we're all going there. Oh, cute, cute. Holy fuck! What just oh, happened? Shit. The fences are on. Why the oh, hell did we turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the hell? What the? Get to the gate. Oh shit. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had to play with! Now you're fucked! Who the Ooh. fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Where's our food, you asshole? Oh. Give us the food! Get closer! Well, what am I doing? Wait. Get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Oh shit! shit. Yeah, we have to be careful. What about our arrangement? What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have okay. to move. Oh shit. Yeah, here we have another Go one. Work. How many of those things did we push Get down? A lot. Oh god. Whoa! 
Oh shit. here. I'll see you guys in the next episode.